Welcome back. It's your boy Fresh. And I'm Mary and we are a co-op of nerds and today we are going to be showing you our pickups for August 2023. But before we begin, don't forget to give us a like, a subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and X. Formerly known as Twitter. That's right. We failed the nipple test, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way you could even try. Not even on your tippy toes. <laughs> Maybe if I get some really nice heels, <laughs> might be able to pass the nipple test. Okay. So our regular video game pickups. This label is ugly fire shark on the genesis so uh, there's a group of guys called the i think it's like beat 52 they're trying to beat 52 games in a row and they got this wheel and they spin it and whatever game it lands on is the game they have to beat this can, this week can they play the same game twice because if no they, i think that like they really each week they nominate i don't know 10 new games. Okay. And um, it landed on Fire Shark this week, and they showed a little bit of gameplay footage prior to them playing it. And needless to say, it's a shoot 'em up on Genesis, so who am I to resist? Uh, up next, got a classic here Mega Man 4. I love Mega Man. A I M? AIM? Or just A M. Like maybe that's people's initials. That's yeah, three hump like, in. I know, I know, but it's a little. How many humps are in your end? Three. You it's, put three humps yeah, in because your because I end. have the extra loop de loop, the extra loop. Comment down below if people who have three humps in their end are weird. It's fancy. But I, I would love to get all of the Mega Man's. That's a little little goal I have for Nintendo. Uh, oh, got Metal Mech Man and Machine. Thank you, Hurl. 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 Yeah. Uh, That's it's, pretty cool looking, though. It's mechs on NES. It almost reminds me of like a Star Wars kind of thing. I was kind of thinking Terminator. Yeah, Terminator. But or maybe RoboCop, the main villain in RoboCop, kind of looked like that. Um, our good friend Square Pegs uh, did a video. I forget if it was. Like hidden gems on the NES or something. Or maybe just rating the Taito games, but he was super, super high on this, so I've never heard of it, so I went and picked it up. Wrath of the Black Manta. Uh, it's a ninja game. Oh, I love ninja games. You love ninja games? So, uh, we sent a copy of this game across the pond over to Generation Pixel. Mm -hmm. I'll try to put that video here um but anyways i picked originally i picked it up for myself decided he would appreciate it better and i went and found a uh cheaper version <laughs> <laughs> persona 5 uh he's always ranting and raving about this game so i bought it with you know his recommendation he's already beat it a couple of times just this year yeah yeah uh but i found a deluxe edition for him so i sent it over there Pick myself up the regular one. Uh, this is an anime that I, I started to watch and I really, really enjoyed it. I need to get back into it. Um, but it's the, so this is a PS4 game. The Seven Deadly, uh, The Seven Deadly Sins, Knights of Britannia. So it's a PS4 exclusive. So did it start off as an anime and then yes. became a game? Okay. Yes. Probably actually started off as a manga. Yeah. Then became an anime. Then became a video game. So, uh, very, very excited to try that one out. Need to get back into that anime. Uh, I have the first one of this, and I have not played it, unfortunately. But I saw the second one, and you don't see these very often. I'll let you do this name while I take a drink of water. 
Ooh, goodness. Hurry up. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Raidu Kuzanoa versus King Abaddon. I don't think you did very I well, but uh, unfortunately, I was getting a drink, so I couldn't do it. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is um, oh, it's tough. <laughs> another RPG. It's complete in box. Oh, and it's two. Two. About the two. Yeah. Uh, this, that uh, Shin Megami Tensei games are always really, really highly rated. Really, really respect it. So if I see one, I don't have. And they're all RPGs, which I love. So I'll pick them up when I can. Got a couple limited runs here. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Just like us. Uh, so I believe this is a uh, four-player co-op shooting action. Do you need four players or up to four players? I think yeah, one to oh, four. Okay. Okay. Uh, upgrade and customize your battleship. Fresh, randomized levels every time. So another cooperative game we can play oh, that's together. Cool. Uh, here's another RPG. Looks a little. I'm not in love with that cover. Shadows of Adam. This one came super, super fast. I know I always rip limited run. This one was probably two weeks. Oh. So I think they've... This one... They might have made it first, then sold it. Oh, okay. Normally I do it the other way around, like Kickstarter. Uh, one player. Strategic AP Management Battle System. Sikio? Uh, Psikio? Shooting Library, Volume 1. Volume 1, Volume 2. So this is... Oh, show that one. This is Volume 1. So it is Strikers 1945, Strikers 1945-2, Strikers 1945-3, Soul Divide, Dragon Blaze, and Zero Gunner 2. So they're all shoot 'em ups I love shoot 'em ups even though I'm not always the best at them. But I do love them. And then the second one is Sengoku Ace, Sengoku Blade, Sengoku Cannon, Gunbird, Gunburn 2, Gun Barrack. Barrack. No, there's 12 <laughs> new shoot 'em ups. Arcade style, it says. Yeah. On the back. Yeah. Um, so. Limited, or not limited run, uh, Analog got me again, uh, I've been looking at this, so this is another console, uh, this is the Analog Pocket, and the Dock, so basically this will play, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Oh, so it's like the Retron, but... Yeah, it's like the like Retron. Handheld stuff? But yeah, for handheld. Okay. Uh, I think it might also do like Game Gear and I maybe wish, a couple I wish of the, the other. Box was a little more yeah, the analog. Is, <laughs> well, look at those. I mean, we got two more over there. They're just black boxes. They charge a lot for this, these products. You know, Metal Jesus, like, oh, they're the best. Okay. Um, and he, he has a lot of them. So I take his word for it, even though they might have paid him to say that. But, uh, you know, the Retron 5 is, is good, not great. Yeah. These are supposed to be great. Okay. And if we want to start doing more game capture footage, I think we're going to need some of these systems. These do hook up to HDMI. It's supposed to be zero lag. And, of course, then we can run it through the game capture. Okay. Easier than the other way. Uh... Okay, so, uh, Mary saw this on her favorite website ever, Slick Deals. Okay, so it was like three bucks, and we love this movie. This is our favorite Thanksgiving movie. That's right. Can you name another Thanksgiving movie? No, I can't. Because <laughs> we watched this one. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, The Game. So, <laughs> uh... This is a two-player card game. Uh, you can see the art 
I don't think they paid for uh, John Candy's estate to use <laughs> The, or I mean, Steve it didn't, Martin. It didn't get very good reviews. <laughs> but it's nostalgic. Yes. Yes. Especially we, with a burning car in the trunk on the front. <laughs> yeah, we, we do we love this movie. Um so it was three bucks, we're gonna do. So uh one of our local game stores had a fifty percent off sale. So I mm -hmm. took the kids to give Mary was it you wanna take a nap, that thing? Either that or it was when I was sick. Okay. It might have been when I was sick. So I picked a game that was 50% off. They did not. <laughs> of uh, pick mix. So this, you have a hand of six cards that are split in half, each with an image on it. And you flip over a card and it'll have three or four images and you need to like match line up your cards so that way only those images are showing mm -hmm. and then you lay them down and the first one to lay them down correctly to match the main picture okay wins the trick and i don't know if you played all five tricks or whatever but uh, i thought that would be a fun could it be game. a matter of opinion i mean what if it's a matter of opinion no it matches the symbols okay 100 percent. okay so yeah uh you know, just shuffling your hand around. Who can shuffle your cards going down the fastest? Okay. So I thought that'd be a fun game for the kids. Uh, they picked out kids' games that were not on sale. We got Critter Cruise. So this is a uh, Noah's Ark game. Aww. And the weather is not being kind to Noah and the animals today. Raining for hours. Good thing Noah has an ark. Help him get the animals and their suitcases on board. <laughs> and all their suitcases. Yeah, now you need all your shit, too. Yeah. So, uh, Georgie picked that one, and Gracie picked Unicorn Glitter Luck Cloud Crystals. We wanted to play this one at Gen Con, but I think they were out. Yeah, yeah. When I took the kids to Gen Con, we were going to play this, but uh, they had already sold out at that time. So she saw it at the store and really wanted to get it. There's. A whole series of unicorn glitter luck games. Um, let's see. Play, playfully, four unicorns race to the sun, uh, galloping on their galloping journey through the clouds, sliding on rainbows. Each can collect beautiful crowd, cloud crystals. However, they must be very careful as a thunderstorm may suddenly appear. So. You know, we're, we're always trying to get games that uh, the kids can play with us. Makes getting games to the table a lot easier. Yeah, and the kids are getting more into it as they get older. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the Kickstarter game was pretty strong this month. Um, even though I think Mary might have got some of these. Or signed off on I don't even have these. a Kickstarter account. She so hacked my account. Okay, so I, this one's not Kickstarter. I got that one for you when I was in Singapore. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, never mind. See? You did get one. Uh, Durian Dash. So this is the fruit that smells like farts, right? <laughs> it smells. And that I, made you think of me. <laughs> I've never smelled a durian. But I heard it's awful, uh -huh. and there are signs on local establishments that say no durian allowed because it apparently smells so bad. Like if you take it in, they'll kick you out. So I have never smelled a durian though. But an off hearing of an awful stench made you think of me. <laughs> I wanted something that was thematic to the location. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now we'll get to Kickstarter's. Up first, we got Cosmo Octopus. We saw this one at Gen Con, yeah. and I was really curious about it. Yeah, so but this one. We already had it coming. That's right. Uh, engine building tentacle gathering board game for one to four. Guide Cosmo Octopus through the inky realm. A flexible configuration of tiles to gather resources, obtain powerful cards pretty yeah one of four players 69 minutes it does look beautiful that cover is it's really pretty. awesome in the heart of darkness 
What's this one about? Uh, let's see. Um, explore the place of rituals, mystery, and despair as you coordinate movements and resources with other players, remaining silent as to avoid the attention of the island's mm -hmm. inhabitants. Whether it be salvation or damnation, fate awaits in the heart of darkness. Interesting. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, so I think it's a cooperative game in which you're not allowed to talk. I love it. Yeah. Silence. You love it? Just total silence. I love silence. <laughs> <laughs> when I reminisce about my single days, it's just me sitting in a quiet room. Especially today. Oh my god. <laughs> All talking. day. Daddy, 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 daddy. <sighs> so much talking. Oh. I don't really need that one. Alright, so this is the, the game that did us in in terms of our height. Uh, Resident Evil. Uh, it's got a lot of boxes here. So this is Into the Darkness. And these are not the most... <laughs> these covers, the boxes, uh, leave a lot to be desired. Pretty basic. Yeah. Uh, so this is a uh, expansion. Yeah, I mean, it's all about the mystery within. Mm-hmm. Bleak Outpost. Bleak Outpost. This, I believe, is another, yeah, it's another expansion. Uh, director's Cut. This is another expansion. There we go. Uh, now this is the, the core game, but even then, it's the exact same front and back. I mean, that is... I was kind of surprised when they did that, to be honest with you. Uh, and it came with this game tray. So basically, this just fits inside the box and helps keep everything organized. Let's see. Yeah. We're running out of space here. Um, this is this is kind of cool. It's uh, some more Kickstarter exclusives. Kind of in my shot here. Uh, a monster box. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I not see your face? There you go. <laughs> A terrain box. Everyone needs a terrain box. And then this box just helps make the cards look retro. Kickstarter will hog up all your room. Uh, so this is obviously the... Uh, so we have Resident Evil 2, we have Resident Evil 3. This is the remake of one that was, for a long time, a GameCube exclusive. I think I bought a GameCube specifically for that game. we might be able to combine a lot of boxes there. Yes. Me. Especially, like, this one is literally just Game Trace. Yes. So, uh, I'm hoping I can combine all of the expansions into one of those boxes. Maybe not the card one, because that, that one's pretty heavy. But all the rest of the boxes are super light. That's the one that ruined it height-wise. We got Taverns and Dragons. Is this a drinking game? No. Good. <laughs> I don't want to drink. We're getting old. The contest of the taverns is about to begin. Attract the mightiest heroes, hunt dangerous dragons, and drink the most rare ingredients. No. Collect rare ingredients to cook the most mouth-watering dishes for the king. That's very, very colorful. Yeah, that, Bright. that board looks beautiful. Look at that thing. Awesome. Uh, it's got the, the meeple mm -hmm. running scared from the dragon. Meeple looks like a star shape? Weird. Oh, yeah, they're always like that. Yeah? Hmm. Uh... Medieval Carnival. Yeah, this one looks really cool. Yeah, so this one, you know, even though it looks pretty scary on there, you actually play as a uh, 
zombie dead person, but you're at the carnival and you're trying to have the most fun. Mm -hmm. So most of these games it would be trying to survive like a zombie infestation in a carnival, whereas this one you're actually playing as the zombies, and instead of trying to hurt people, you're just trying to have fun. But I do think there's a like a carnival operator and he's trying to kick you out and stuff. Make it to where uh, you can't have any yeah, fun. Yeah. I think it says, uh, one of a kind board game where as the undead you spend time in a theme park filled with crazy and dangerous attractions. You've already died, so nothing worse can happen to you. <laughs> so two gameplay variants, run away from Mr. Carl and chase away the mean flea bag. I think flea bag is his cat. Oh, okay. That weird looking cat. Mm-hmm. This one took a long ass time to get here. Davy Jones's locker, the Kraken. Wakes. Wakes. Uh, let's see. Something lurking in the depths of Davy Jones. You've heard the stories. Ships being ripped apart by. or ripped in half by giant creature maelstrom swallowing ships in the sea. And dead sea creatures watching ashore with strange markings. Pirates captains have decided to band together and prepare for what evil is waking. Choose your ship, sail to the ports, and gather everything you can to be ready before it's too late. So it's a cooperative game split into two acts. So first act you're going to be gathering weapons and crew and ship upgrades, and the second act you're going to be fighting the Kraken. Okay. Oh Jesus. Oh. All right, this was actually one of the most, the game I was most looking forward to. You may not be that much. It's one to two hours. Yeah, we, we go up to two hours. We go up to 120. Look at that face. Deliverance. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. See? Positive. Positivity. Since, it's got angels. Yeah, so it's the angel versus demon game. So choose your hero and act as the hand of God against the forces of darkness controlled by the game itself. So the cooperative game. Uh, blessed with stewardship over heavenly relics or ho and holy powers, unleash your God-given gifts to defeat demonic foes, cast down the darkness, and deliver the saints from evil through an epic <coughs> hey. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, or a one to two hour skirmish for a perfect game night. See, it doesn't have to be campaign. Right there it says on the box. And that is it. So really, if you cut out Resident Evil, the stack wasn't that big. Resident yeah, actually, Evil. Actually, we didn't, we didn't go many places. We didn't do much shopping this month. That month. August. Well, you were gone. You were, you were in a different country. And then Gen Con. Yeah. We did that video separately. Yeah, we did that video separately. So that doesn't even count. You can't even count that. <laughs> we got a lot of games at Gen Con. You did get a lot of games at Gen Con. We're already starting to fill up that new Calyx. We got to start playing, honey. Well. Stop falling asleep so early. I'll just sit around and play with myself. Let us know down in the comment section what your pick of the month is, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye. bye. Hey, Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Our son asked for beans for a snack. He's so weird. <laughs> and then, when was the last time you snacked on some beans? Well, and then also for dinner. What do you want for dinner? Mushrooms. <laughs> Mushrooms. You're three. He's three. Three. What kid wants some mushrooms for dinner when they're three? I don't even want mushrooms for dinner. <clears throat> well, I like, I like mushrooms. I like mushrooms, but I don't want it as a dinner. Yeah. It's stuff or stuffed mushrooms are stuffed good, but mushrooms. see that there's there's more to that. Yeah, like, that's true. Oh, what a day! All right, this video's long. Okay. I ain't got time to fuck around. Okay. Serious face.